name is Nakia, and I'm with Divine Elements of Design in the Decorator's Voice. I'm a certified interior decorator, professional organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And if those are topics that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. In addition to the YouTube videos that are posted on Thursdays, I send an email newsletter to my membership list on Wednesdays, and then on Tuesdays, a blog is posted. I also have a free five-day course titled, Five Days to Organize Life and Home. Through the course of five days, you'll receive instructions and tips on how to have your home company ready at all times. So, as the title suggests, in this video, I'm going to share with you how I read one book a month, although I really don't have time to read. Our lives are so busy, we have so much on our plates, but reading is something that we should all try to take time to do. Unfortunately, I can't just sit and read a traditional book like I used to. I mean, really, the only times I get to read a book is if I'm on vacation, sitting on the beach or on a plane or sitting in my car waiting for a kid to run into the store and get something. But anyway, so what I do is listen to Audible. Now, Audible is a service from Amazon Prime or Amazon. And of course, Amazon has basically any and everything. And I will leave a link to a video that I posted of ways you can actually make money on Amazon. But anywho, let's get back to the topic. So Audible is a way to actually listen to your books. Now, I will leave a link to my um, Amazon link that will give you, I think, the first 30 days of Audible free, which is really, really good. So it's a trial service. After the trial, I think it's 19 or $14.95 a month for one credit. And typically a book is one credit. So Audible is great. And I'm going to share with you like my favorite nine reasons why I love Audible. So for one, like I said, it has a free trial. And even you can start the free trial using the link I'm going to provide with you. And you can get those books. And after the trial, you still have those books. So it's really a win-win situation. Also, being able to listen to books, it gives you an opportunity to read books when you don't have the time to sit down and read them. So if you're walking your dog, walking on the treadmill, or if you're cleaning your home, instead of listening to music, you can actually listen to Audible. Just read or listen to a book on Audible. Another really good advantage of Audible is you can download your books on your devices and you can listen to them when you are even not connected to the internet. So if you have a Kindle or if you have a device or like a, a, a Wi-Fi only phone, you can download it to that Wi-Fi only phone and then listen to it where you're not in Wi-Fi. So that's really good if you just, you know, have a device that you just want to use when you're walking your dog or something. Or if you're traveling, you're on a plane and you're not connected to the internet or it doesn't have the internet. You can still listen to your book. One of my favorite things about Audible is that I can connect it to Alexa and all of my devices. So if I'm in my office and I'm listening to a book while I'm working and then I decide, OK, well, I'm done for the day. I want to go downstairs and cook dinner or clean. I can all I have to do is just, you know, go to the next Alexa or my phone or my iPad or my whatever and it will pick up right where I left off in the office so I love being able to share my book across all of the platforms one thing I really like about audible is that really probably say a majority of the time your books are being read to you by the actual author of the book so if you want to hear that author's voice and you know really feel the authenticity in the reading it's really great. I love being able to just listen to the author read their words. It's almost like being at a book reading. When you purchase a book using one of your credits from Audible, it's actually cheaper than buying the book. So say, for example, the Becoming book by um, Michelle Obama, it's like $30. But if you use Audible, you can use one credit, which is the one credit a month for $14.95, and you will get that book. And you will have it. And like I said, once again, you have your author's voice. So it's actually cheaper to use Audible to get those um, electronic books or those voice books instead of the paper book. 
Another thing I like about Audible is you can actually cancel it at any time. So let's say, for example, you have it for a couple months, you have all of these books, you can decide to cancel it and you get to keep those books. And, you know, you're getting them at a discounted rate and it's the, the electronic version or the, the Audible or the audio version of the book. It's just, for me, a win-win situation. Also, many times, because you have an Audible subscription or the service, they will give you free books. And I really like that. I can just kind of go in and, you know, read the book that I want to read. Like, say, for example, Becoming. And then I can also get other free books and keep those in my library and read or listen to them at my leisure. I also like the fact that you can sample a book. So if you're just kind of kind of curious about, hmm, do I really want this book? What is it going to sound like? Is the author's voice annoying? Are they hoarse like me? <laughs> but you can actually get a sample of the book before you actually commit to and purchase the book. Now, although with the subscription, you only get one book a month or one credit a month, you can get more books than that. You can actually pay for books. So say, for example, a book is $5 or a book goes on sale for $5. You don't have to use your $14.95 credit. You can buy that book for $5 and then turn around and use your $14.95 your credit for something else. So this is a definitely a great way to help build up your audio library. So once again, I really hope you like this information I'm providing about Audible. This is a great way to listen to books. I mean, I'm, I'm always listening to things, whether it's YouTube videos or podcasts or books on Audible. But it's just something that you can really do to benefit yourself. Millionaires read at least one book a month. And we're all trying to become millionaires. So hey, let's just take that piece of advice and get Audible. So like I mentioned before, the link for the free trial, which gives you, you know, access to all of the books that you can pick and choose from. Uh, I think it's only one that you get for the, the tree trial, but that information is below. So definitely sign up using my link to get that free book and then come back and let me know which book you use or which book you use a credit for. And if you decide that you want to keep the subscription. Well, once again, thank you very much and you have a divine day. Goodbye.